Okay, but now the thing is, that's cool. You know, we can have, you know, duplicate this several times. Go to the angle control. You know, we get, you know, all this going on here. You know, we can make like a little fan, like, you know, Japanese fan or whatever. Um, but the thing is, I want to have these equally spaced regardless of how many uh, rays I have here. So let's hit you for expressions. And um, what I want to do here, uh, what I have to do here is create an expression which divides the actual angle of the uh, angle control with the amount of rays that we have in our scene. So if we have two rays, the angle control will be split in half. If we have three rays, the angle will be split into thirds, and everything will be spaced out evenly. So we're going to go up to um, go back into our rotation. We're going to create another variable. We're going to call this ray equals, and we're going to click on our null object and go back up to the expression controls, effects controls, and we're going to make another expression control slider. And we're going to call this ray total. Okay, and this is going to be just an input to dictate how many rays we actually have in our um, in our scene here. And this is going to have to be. It's not going to be an automatic thing. You're going to have to manually set it every time uh, you add a ray or, or this uh, add a layer. So we're going to hit go down to ray, pick whip the uh, ray total slider. Don't forget your semicolon. Now what we have to do is we have to um, divide the angle control by the ray. So what we're going to do is we're going to contain this here. Parentheses AC divided by ray. Uh-oh. What'd I do? Ah, that's right. Now, another thing we're going to have to fix. Uh, sometimes when you're evaluating uh, numbers, with, especially with a slider, if the slider is set to zero, it's not going to uh, calculate properly. And you'll get this um, error here. So copy that out. Click on a rotation. Go back to the null object. Set the slider to one. Okay, so go down alt click rotation and just paste the uh, expression back in and everything's all set and we'll, f we'll fix that in just a second so what we do here is now if we multiply these rays here so control D a few times set the angle control to 360 degrees so 360 come on and the ray totals, we have eight rays. Type in eight. There we go. Everything's all spaced properly. So if we take out ray number eight, you'll see that now we're missing one ray. So we go back in here, and just type in seven rays, automatically updates and re, um, reorients everything to where it's supposed to be. Now, again, the problem is if you accidentally hit zero, ah, we get this uh, um, uh, problem here. So we're going to create another expression to uh, fix that problem. So let's go back into Ray, hit U, and again, it's in our rotation. And the, again, the main reason is because the Ray total is set to 0 instead of 1. Um, I'm sorry, the expression is going to have to be um, in the Ray total. So close up Ray, I'll click the stopwatch. And what we're going to use is uh, we're going to use a clamp and what the clamp will do, clamp expression, is it evaluates a certain value and it tells the expression that it can only go between these two numbers. So I say, you know, this slider is the value and it cannot go between numbers one, it can only go between numbers one and five. So it can't go to zero and lower and it can't go to six and higher. So that one is clamp, C-L-A-M-P, parentheses, and we're just going to pick whip the slider here, the ray total slider, 
and comma, and the, the lowest value that you want to go to, want it to go to, and the highest value you want it to go to. So I'll just say 360. And there you go. So we'll go to the slider, and we'll take it down to, you know, negative, you know, 100 something. It still only evaluates at one. Go up as high as we can go to, you know, 500. It stops at 360. Only evaluates at 360. So let's get back to set it to eight. And, and you don't have to do this, but it just prevents any type of accident that you might have, and you accidentally, you know, hit it to zero. Okay, after almost a half hour of uh, of explaining these expressions here, we're actually going to get to the project. So let's go to our null here and have this set. How many we have? Seven. So we'll set this to seven. <coughs> and of course, you can adjust the angle to anything you want, uh, but we'll just keep it at 360. So we have an even spread of of you know all the all the rays. Now we did all this just so we can do the next part, uh, which is actually creating the object. This was all just an expressions exercise, um, but a useful one at that. So let's go to um, create a new solid. And actually, let's just copy both the ray and the null layers, and we'll just drop it into the next composition. And let's go to hit U, and we'll just adjust some of our expressions to uh, fix this here. So the anchor point, get okay, white solid, hit A for anchor, and we're going to reset it so it's at 512. And what I'm going to do is I want this anchor point to be on the left-hand edge because <clears throat> I'm going to place the solid over on the side here. And you'll you'll see what I'm doing in just a second. So let's place the anchor point at zero. And it shifts the uh the solid over so now the anchor point is actually on the ver on the very left hand side. So now let's go to position and I'm going to position this at zero. So now it's the left edge of the solid is at the very left edge of our composition. Okay, now let's go back to scale and toggle down the expression. Now I want the y value to be at 100%, so we'll just take out the divide 2. So now it's at 100%, but we still have in our null object um, the toggle for pixel size, so we can adjust on the fly. Now we can get rid of the angle control, we don't need that anymore. And click on solid, let's go to R. Okay, we don't need any. There's nothing in the rotate. Yep, there it is. Get rid of the uh, expression in rotation. And we should be all set.